Hello, there, stranger. Looks like you uh, stumbled on this video by accident or something. Uh, maybe you're looking at uh, doing your crank seal on your L9 or um, ISL coming. So uh, real quick, this is probably gonna be the easiest crank seal you can do because you don't have to remove the whole cover. Now there is already a really good video on this. Um, I'm assuming it's a guy from a dealership. So real quick, let's go over the important stuff. That's the part number for this seal. And this is what it looks like. It has a little um, like install, little guide that once you push in, it'll uh, pop out. And you just have to reuse your little dust cover that goes right here. And uh, it doesn't really need to go a specific way, but uh, you can pull it out and put it back on with the same part numbers facing the same way. Now you do need to put silicone on the back of this and on the studs that hold it together. So real quick, let me pull off the old one. So here we go, I'm about to pull it off now. Like, like I said, there's already a really good video on it. Uh, I'm just gonna answer some, some quick questions that didn't he didn't put on there. Um, but you just pry on the back with your type of like, uh, however you wanna call it, a lady's finger or a crow's foot or a lady foot or whatever you wanna call it. Now mine has a part number facing up, so I'll just, you know, once I've already pried it out, this little dust cover is what comes out first, and this is the one you're gonna reuse, or you can order a new one. You can just clean it up if it's still in good shape. You know, clean up all that dirt. Let me set it aside. And you pull it out, and as you can see, mine's a little wet from the bottom because, you know, I'm having a, a leak, so. Showing it real quick. And this is silicone that was on it from the factory. It looks just like it's white silicone, so I'll just scrape this off, clean this up, and pop it back in the way I took it off and the way in that uh, YouTube video that other man has from that dealership. Now, real quick, now you're wondering what else was I supposed to take off? Since that man pretty much has an engine on the stand. Hold on, let me show you. All right, so if uh, your harmonic balancer looks like mine, then uh, you'll have like a, the PTO shaft that goes on here. And you'll take off the PTO shaft first. There are four 15 millimeter bolts. I used an air impact and then I marked it so that way I lined them all up again. Let me show you real quick. So you'll pull off the PTO shaft those four 15 millimeter bolts, and then you'll run into another one. I marked it as well to, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like it's timed or anything, but I usually like to mark stuff and put it back on the way I took it off. And you take off some more 15 millimeter bolts. You pull it off. All right. And then this is the last set of bolts you pull it off. Now, I believe this is the ones in that uh, in that video that that man torques to 200 or something. Um, I'll post the, the torque specs in the comments or in the description, but you just take off these last uh, 17 millimeter, I believe, bolts. They come out, and then this will loosen up really quick, and you pull it out. And that's it. That's what holds your belt. Now, somebody said, well, why don't you show uh, what else you took off? Well, I really didn't have to take much out. I just took this pulley off, this pulley setup, which it was only four bolts that held it together. And I just pulled off the tension, and that's it. So hopefully it, uh... so that's it. So hopefully uh, somebody found a little bit of comfort in uh, watching one more video before they tackle the crankcase seal.